How y'all doing? I'm Robbie. I'm going to show you how to play Cowboys and Angels by Dustin Lynch. Alright, you're going to need your capo on your third. And now he finger picks the verses. I'm going to teach it with a pick. So, of course, it's going to sound close. But it's not going to be exactly right because it's not this. It's just this. Alright, you'll see what I mean. Okay. So, this is not what I would call a beginner song. But I'm going to try to teach it where a beginner can learn it. Or at least an advanced beginner if that makes any sense. What? stick with the intro. Uh, so that's E minor, D slash F sharp to G. So we got and we go back to E minor. To D, C. Alright, now let me talk about my strumming. I'm just kind of winging it, honestly. I'm going, and I'm hammering on and off. And I'm kind of plucking. Like, I'm not trying to pluck uh, the last string. I don't think I plucked that at all, the, the rendition I did. Uh, I think I plucked the, the second string once or twice, but I mainly stick with the middle strings here. Yeah, I, I do use the second string. That's the intro. Now the verse, which I already kind of went into, is E minor to D slash F sharp to G. Now goes C D A minor E minor D slash F sharp G C D e minor G to D. So let me go back and redo that since it was a little fast. Tell you what, I'll just put the chords here from now on for this video. To the, to the the intro like immediately all right then it goes another verse which is E minor that's where he changes it goes from C to G to D instead of from D to A minor Alright, and then the next one is E minor. Sorry, I messed up there a little bit. Cowboys and Alright, which brings us to the chorus.
on this lesson, and I messed up again. Maybe I should redo this. Maybe not. Alright, so I went from C to D to G to E minor. A cloud of dust. breakdown part of a B minor. What the hell was that? Yeah, B minor. And then my touch C Alright, you go from G, I'm wild, and it's like a G over F sharp. Which is you make your G chord, you keep your pinky there, but you take your middle finger off and you move your first finger to your first I mean, your big E string kind of sounds off, but it goes G. Sounds like that. We're dangerous. Like, he, he elaborates dangerous on why he's doing that. He goes E minor, D, C. Cowboys and G. Okay. G to G. And then it goes back into the uh, intro again. Uh, and then the third verse is the same chords as the second verse with the G and the D at the second line. And the uh, next chorus is the same as the first chorus. And then it has a little uh, instrumental part after that. Uh, I'm going off the acoustic part now. So, the acoustic version, I mean. That's how I learned the song. Uh, and it's the same chord progression as the chorus, it's just there's no words. So you do the exact same thing, but with no words. And after you get to the last C, like after after Cowboys and Angels, after you get there, it goes to C. And he carries it out. If you listen to the song, you'll get it. Uh, so you carry that C out, and then he... Let's see, there's a one, there's a knee, there's a knee, there's a knee. For that last verse there, it's the same chords as the first verse. So on the second line, instead of having the uh, G and D after the C, it's C, D, A minor, just like the first verse. You might probably going to have to write these chords down. Alright. And then the outro is like the intro of that. Oh, wait. how you finish it all right so that's cowboys and angels i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to teach this lesson just because of the finger picking part but i just broke it down with the strumming and the pick i find that's a little easier and it suffices when you need to play it live um uh, so yeah that's it don't forget to subscribe right here give me a thumbs up check out my fan page if you have any question points comments or requests you leave them below and i'll get to them uh if you want to record yourself singing the song uh, I post that as a video response because I like to see it because I really do like this song. I, I wish I got to it sooner. But uh, we'll see you next time.